So I'm David Brown. I am the director of the V Fabric Applied Technology Group and one of the original legacy architects from the Gemstone acquisition. And now we're going to talk about some of the customer use cases, uh, customers who have applied the Gemfire technology and achieved some dramatic results and some dramatic business transformation uh, in their applications. Now this use case is an online retail uh, financial trading system. It's a, it's a well-known brand name um, in, um, in, a, in a large industrialized country. And in this country, um, the culture of this country is that in the free time, people like to trade foreign exchange. Here in the U.S., we play on Facebook. In this company, they trade foreign currencies. Housewives at home spend their days trading foreign currencies. So this, this system is actually considered social infrastructure, not social media, but is considered social infrastructure in this company so that if the delays are exceeding the SLAs, which I believe are a few seconds, then it's going to show up in the newspaper the next day. So this is a fairly significant system. So in this system, um, the customer used Gemfire to provide much faster performance to very specialized customer web pages. So if you can think of going in and, and logging into your system and looking at your portfolio and, and doing analysis of different stocks and things and then deciding to make trades and all the online advisors that are in those kinds of systems, there's some very sophisticated web pages. In order to get those web pages to build quickly, they wanted to design very specialized, denormalized data objects for each page. And those data objects had to be populated with the real customer information. So if you can look at this diagram here, we see the web browser making a request to the app server for a page. The app server would then come down to Gemfire and say, give me the specialized object for that page. Now, if it didn't exist, if it hadn't been built before, code would run inside Gemfire. And this is kind of one of the key capabilities of Gemfire is that you can execute behavior inside of the database so that, that it's running very, very quickly. Code that was running inside of Gemfire would build that denormalized view from the customer domain data and from the customer or from their master reference data. So it would assemble this specialized object as requested by that page. But then it would cache it both at the server level and up at the app server level. So that if the customer came back to that page and nothing had changed, then um, they would already have that object built and the customer would get an even better, faster experience. Now, Caching is really great, but caching implies that you can hold on to an old value for a period of time, and it assumes that the application can tolerate the fact that that data might be stale. And that's not the case when we're talking about financial transactions. People want to see the latest up-to-date system, or the latest up-to-date numbers. So one of the key things about this architecture was that they had um, these change harvesters that were going out and looking for updates uh, running off of triggers basically in their legacy database. And those triggers would update data inside of Gemfire and using internal Gemfire mechanisms an update to a customer record or a customer portfolio would automatically cause an invalidation of any cache data that was built that was based on top of that domain data. So that if the, the, the end user came back and requested that page and something had been changed, the invalidation would mean they wouldn't hit a cached value. It would come back to the server and build a new version of that object that would contain the absolute accurate up-to-date value. So this system also went through some of the most rigorous testing I've ever seen of any software system because of the nature of the people that built it. Um, it was very rigorously retested in order, again, to support the, the SLAs that if anything ever did go wrong, uh, they and their, their names and their, their uh, families' names were going to be on the newspapers um, the next day. 